thank you so much for tuning back in. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a slice today. We're going to turn that slice into a little baby draw. So a lot of the times uh, when we're slicing the ball, it's got to do a lot with your setup. So let's get a really good setup and we'll change that ball flight to a little baby draw. Okay, so when we're hitting a slice, most of the time when we set up, when we set up, our shoulders are open to the target. So here's what I mean by that. If I put my right hand right on my right hip like this, and I turn to the ball, you see how my shoulders actually go a little left of the target. A little bit left of the target, so that changes my path. So my swing path is going to follow my shoulders out and follow it across the line. So it's going to be swinging more on this path. And that's why I have these alignment sticks out here of shafts. One pointed out to the left, one pointed out to the right. And we'll get into these shafts here in just a minute. So again, they go like this. Really open, open shoulders, which is left of the target. They swing along the line, and it goes kind of low. Starts left or starts down the middle and fades to the right. <clears throat> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that uh, just on a basic correction in the setup. So I want your ball position to be, you know, right. Right off that front left heel, if you're a right-handed golfer, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's going to be off your right heel. Okay, and all I want you to do is get the club face square. Get your right hand right on your hip. Okay, now when you do that, you just go hip to grip, just like that. Okay, and you can see how that strengthens your grip as well. If you go here, hip to grip, and you move your shoulders, you can see how your spine angle goes kind of forward of the golf ball, and you're going to make that kind of choppy motion. <clears throat> so the first thing is, real simple, just get the setup change. Okay, hip to grip, not moving the upper body, so it stays pretty stable, just like this. Now with these alignment sticks out here, I want you to swing. A slicer is going to swing more to the left with an open club. A drawler is going to swing more down that target line like this. And roll the hands over the toe of the club. Here's your toe of the club. Right on the right side, here's your heel. And the toe of the club kind of turns over just like that. So let's give it a little test run here. Okay, so ball position good, hip to grip. I'm going to rehearse a couple times, getting that feeling of swinging down the target line and releasing the hands. Now I'm going to put it on a test and let it go. Okay, you can see how that drew over to the left. Let's try it again here. Set up to it. Hip. To grip. Not moving those shoulders like this. Keep those shoulders. Keep that right shoulder right there and just go right to grip. Swing a couple times out along that alignment stick with the toe coming up or the toe releasing. Let's test it out again. Now just balance finish. Starts out to the right, draws right back around. <clears throat> Let's look at it again from this side. So hip, see where my left hand's placed. Grip just like that, not this way, 
just like that. Do it one more time here. Hip to grip. Swing a couple times above the ball just to kind of get that feeling of swinging out the target line. Releasing the club. Hip. Grip. Now balance. 